Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have to talk about this brand new Draculaura collector doll that literally came out of nowhere. So let's get into it. So Draculaura leaked yesterday. Uh, she's a new collector doll and she literally appeared out of nowhere. Not only did she leak out of nowhere, but we also literally had no information of her. We have no listings of her. We have no information. We have no price statement release date like there's no there's nothing that's been officially you know shared by Mattel anywhere on any website as of right now of this doll which makes it even more like you know mysterious because like for us fans we know nothing like so this is very very interesting very curious and she just came up came out of nowhere um and now here she is so she, we do have some information that she is going to pr be priced around the 100 us dollar price point um and she will be apparently uh be sold at amazon or walmart apparently she was supposed to be a walmart ex collector kind of like deal but like exclusive but apparently this was actually found this doll she was found in a amazon warehouse so i mean of course if she was found in a amazon warehouse then i think it's safe to say that she will be also sold in uh, on you know amazon.com so it's not really it's we're, we're not sure like if she's going to be exclusive to walmart or amazon or maybe she'll be sold at both places no clue but you know what we do know for sure is that she was found at a amazon warehouse and that apparently the person who, who took the picture of the doll and who shared it um is actually scared that you know people might mattel you know people who they work for might not be happy that they shared it because you know she was not supposed to be leaked yet uh but you know was was found fair and square amazon warehouse so, i mean <laughs> the picture's out you know everyone's shared it everyone's seen it so uh you know the cat's out of the bag um or i guess i should say the bat is out of the bag uh and now you know mattel sorry so here she you know here it is we've seen her now so i mean the price point really is a lot it's like around 100 uh which I gotta say that's expensive like i thought maybe 70 because that's like the you know mattel creations collector prices you know like holiday draculaura right but no a hundred and i mean she does have you know rooted lashes and you know we don't get really we don't really get to see a good scope of like how big her dress is or like you know like i don't think we get to see a really good picture of like her we only have this one picture so i i think there's much more to see of her so maybe you know once we see more once the stock photos get revealed we'll get to see why she costs maybe so much or maybe the price point again will be lowered really nothing right now is set in stone right now we all we know uh is speculation it's not nothing's confirmed nothing is officially shared by mattel so this is really just all again speculation um uh, but yeah i have i mean that's what i heard 100 which is expensive but i mean it could change hopefully and if it doesn't then well that's that is expensive <laughs> so she is supposed to release sometime fall and i think what was gonna happen initially is that mattel was gonna perhaps announce her at the beginning of september and in the next couple of weeks they would reveal her and then perhaps she would be able to she will be sold at, at the beginning of october or around halloween time because she doesn't have uh like a specific theme i feel like she's just she's not really halloween themed she her title on the box says vampire heart which is not really halloween themed or like anything specific it's just like a title uh it kind of reminds me of like uh the elizabeth plotline and fright's camera action maybe that's like what's inspired this doll and her kind of like you know elegant uh kind of like i don't know like victorian looking gothic inspired dress it's just very you know royal you know it's giving very royal vibes and it's it's just giving like very um old time you know ball gowns and stuff like that so it's it's definitely inspired by something it's just it does look very specific so i wonder if there is a specific theme you know if she's gonna or if she's like because she is gothic obviously inspired like she's just so black like for for once draculaura really doesn't have much pink here which is shocking <laughs> but uh so i wonder if she's part of like a larger collection or if this is just like a one-off release because even with the holiday dolls they've now done like um 
uh, Draculaura, and then they're gonna also release Skelita and How uh, Claudine, which have both leaked as well. Uh, so Holiday is a, a is a theme now. So is she gonna be part of a theme as well, or again just a one one off release? Uh, interesting, really. I'm not sure, I, but she does look again very elegant right and uh so i'm kind of wondering perhaps again a halloween release or earlier uh i mean mattel has to know it up by now she has leaked so maybe they will you know try to release her even earlier i really don't know i but i do think that she would have been uh, revealed in the next coming weeks at least uh or announced you know because i mean fall is already here so like they they can't wait much longer okay so the actual doll i haven't talked about her yet but she does look stunning like she has red lashes she has a black lipstick her makeup's on fleek um the the, the hairstyle is very specific it's very unique i definitely don't think dracula has ever had a hairstyle like this before or any monster high doll for that matter like i don't think i've seen a monster heidel with this hairstyle it's just so unique and it's just very again very inspired for sure uh it's very stylized i love the two little swirls on the front the big braid in the back or whatever and then of course there's even a headpiece that uh the that actually the headpiece mold has leaked earlier uh, and i actually saw this on Corley jester's video of this doll as well and i was like what i didn't see this picture where does it come from so uh, i actually uh this is from their video so thanks to Corley Jester <laughs> but uh the headpiece um that leaked was obviously in blue because that's just a test mold color uh, but you can see here, it's the same headpiece, you know, from the back of her hair, because uh, the spikes are the exact same shape, and there's like this whole spiderweb motif. Uh, but in the middle, which we don't see on the leaked picture, is a bat, which is so ornamental. It just looks so delicate. I just love the finesse with the details here, the mold molded, molded on details. It just, it definitely, I love that. It looks so good. And then in pink, it looks even better so i think the headpiece is probably my favorite p uh, f favorite part about her as of right now just because everything el everything else about her that we can see here is black <laughs> um there's not much else that's really like distinguishable uh and i can't really even tell like again how big her dress is how is it a dress is it a two-piece how is it structured how many layers like is it poofy or does it just look poofy in a box you know uh because there's like tissue underneath the dress so i am very curious to see how big the ball gown actually is how far does it span you know like how big is it uh how many again how many layers what is the material fabrics that they used um, and then the sleeves, like, I'm just very curious because she does, it, I feel like she does have, uh, like, we're not seeing a lot about her. Um, we're just scratching the surface, really, and already, I'm already, like, in awe of her design just because she is very unique looking and she does look very gothic you know renaissance kind of like inspired again a pull from many different aesthetics i believe for sure so i'm i think she looks amazing i honestly like this is just a very in all of the monster high collector dolls that we've gotten so far i don't think i've ever seen one monster high collector doll that's ever looked this unique in like really inspired by a design aesthetic and and perhaps like by a you know certain year, year period of time like right it's like no, I'm, this is definitely like a very well designed doll like i this I, I don't know who designed her but like damn like this is good this is very good i i'm shocked because again this is i've never seen any monster high doll look like this like it's so insane. yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think she's a gorgeous doll. The hairstyle, the makeup, the lashes, the headpiece, the dress, the accessories. Although I can't really see her dress, I do think it looks really nice. So, uh, but I do wonder what else she comes with for that price point of 100 US dollars. If that price point is real, then I do hope that she comes with a comb, like a stand, a certificate of authenticity, a diary, accessories, perhaps. Because as we can see here in the box, it doesn't seem that she has anything else included. So I am worried that she's perhaps not going to come with any accessories and she's going to cost a hundred bucks just because she's Draculaura and she has you know rooted lashes on and because perhaps her hairstyle is a little bit more you know <laughs> ambitious <laughs> like Mattel please come on but because 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 you know Mattel keeps releasing Draculaura collector dolls because they know they will sell the best I mean why else did it pick 
the Dracula for the freak to chic, you know, collect it all. So, yeah. But um, I, I hope the price perhaps, you know, goes down a little bit. But um, let's see. Uh, overall, I think she's gorgeous. But uh, yeah, we really need to see more pictures, honestly. But what do you think of this doll and of the other prior collector Dracula dolls? Which one's your favorite so far? I think mine still has to be Han Couture just because she is more pink and I love the box. And like with her, there was definitely a good balance of packaging design, accessories, a diary, um, the purse. But with this one here, she just doesn't come with a lot or anything it seems and uh the packaging is never usable you know like un unlike with the coffin packaging so i mean let's see overall i am definitely very impressed though sorry my nose was so uh stuffed in this video from my allergies so excuse me if i sounded weird but that was the video let me know what you think of this new doll which one's again which one's your favorite overall of the dracula collector dolls uh and what could this one perhaps be the, the one that makes you a Draculaura stand because I mean I feel like a lot of people Monster High fans um, this is the kind of aesthetic they look for in Monster High so honestly I, I, I yeah let's let's see but let me know what you thought down below leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind I hope this next time stay PG Kisses!